Oh yeah, welcome back to the budget kitchen. Now, a bit of a slow start to the season, so I do apologise. Um, we're going basic tonight. We're going some Australian bo bork, pork schnitzels. Um, I'm going to do sort of like a Mexican chip with it as well. Got some Mexican seasoning, oil, all that sort of stuff. So I'll get these spuds cut up and um, yeah, we'll get stuck into it. Quick peel. I wasn't going to peel them, that's why I got washed spuds, but um, anyway. One goal I want to do for season four is uh, actually cook stuff while we're out and about. Um, there may be one or two when I'm on the bike where I won't be able to, but um, yeah, anyway. I'm not doing these like my sweet fries I've done. They're just getting seasoned and um, just going to be pan frying them. <laughs> you may notice the band aid. <laughs> um, putting the roof racks on the bongo van before we come out. Uh, they're off a, they must have been off a bigger high ace or something, something wider. Had the um, the four inch cutting the extra bit sticking out the sides and uh, <laughs> slip through there and through the thumb. Lucky I already hit the uh, off button before it cut, otherwise I might have been canceling this trip and going to uh, hospital with uh, stitches or a severed thumb. <laughs> But that's how quick it can happen. So. Alright. Some oil in there. I may use using vegetable oil. Normally you'd use olive oil or maybe even a peanut oil of these so you can turn the um turn the heat up a bit. Get a bit of that crispness on the outside, but um so yeah, it's just a Mexican chili mix spice blend. Paper on it. Mm. Reminds me of the, uh, the old shaker fries from Macca's back in the early 90s, which I think they brought back a couple of times, but. so we don't lose our oil. Oh yeah. <laughs> Little tip with chili, with chili food. <laughs> the redder it gets normally, the hotter it gets. So. I'm happy with that. I don't want to go too hard because I've never Never tried this before, so don't want to burn out a vi ring straight away. So we'll leave that in there. Um, and we might start, I suppose I'll always toss them aside. We'll start the spuds first. Straight in. Oh, there's a lot there, I probably should have just done one. Try and get them all on the ground on the bottom of the pan. Go away wind. Alright. Might grab me tongs as well.
The good thing about doing these first two, you're going to get a bit of this chilli infused in the oil, so when I do do the schnitzels, although if how many chips there are, I might just do one, one schnitzel, but um, yeah, they are, they have just gone out of date, picked them up today, so uh, I'll hopefully get this off. I think they're normally about eight bucks. Eight bucks for these things, so getting getting down to four. Normally when they're on clearance like this, I'll take them straight home. And um, I'm not gonna say. I'll take them straight home and cry back them. And they're good for a future trip, so. Big thing about buying your meat is always buy it at the right time. Buy it when it's on clearance. I've had that sort of stuff in the freezer for Oh, up to 12 months after getting it and uh, not having any issues but then again I do have a cast iron stomach so if you're a little bit um, a little bit wary or your guts doesn't really like that sort of stuff then maybe don't take my advice on that one all right they're starting to come up good not too far normally any sane person around this time would uh, give them a sprinkle of salt Unfortunately, <coughs> doctor said no to that still, so let's say. Uh, one question for the viewers, if you would indulge me. A lot of videos I see that use these Coleman uh, gas can canisters, always doing it like this. I've always had it over so the canisters out of the way, sticking straight up in the air, upside down. Is there a correct way to do it? Love to hear your comments down in the comment section. Let me know if you uh, use these gas I know in the uh, in my Coleman shower it's upright. Um, the only other thing I use the bottles for uh, for cooking with this. So I've used it I've used it the other way numerous times and it works. Doesn't freeze up. Doesn't do anything. Although the end does get a bit icy, especially in the morning when I'm cooking brekkie. But um, yeah, are they supposed to be on angle like that? Because I'd be worried about it being too close whatever you're cooking too, that's cold there, but at least if it's upside down over there, it's further away, further away from the uh, heat, but yeah, let me know. Right, yeah. I'm going to call them done, so we've got our customary bit of paper towel. Down to drain a bit of the oil off, keep the doctor happy. A bit. They're probably going to stick together a bit and clog up, but that's um, to be expected. Yeah, snips will straight in. I may as well do both of them. I can use it for meat, cold meat, later. Yeah, the good thing about these sort of pre-processed, uh, pre-processed proteins, we'll put it in here for now. Um, they don't need a lot. They need a lot to cook. They're uh, there's a lot of not a lot of meat in them, and um, yeah, I'll show you. It won't it won't take much. You pretty much just crisp me beside. Chicken's the same. Chicken. These are a little bit thicker, but your normal chicken schnitzels you get from Coles Deli or whatever else is not not a lot of them. Mm. Hot. Don't tell the doctor. Oh, open up. Mm. Like that. That'll do. <laughs> That'll do. Don't want to get in trouble. Last minute addition. <laughs> Bit of melted cheese on top. Don't let the doctor see this. <laughs> um, grab some paper towel quickly. It's always best to give your stuff a wipe off while the oil's warm. Yummo. 
And since I'm just down here for the night, these dishes are going to go home. Can get washed up there, not down here. So, all right. Ah. Mm. Mm. If I kept them going a little bit longer, because mm, that one's a bit crunchy. The dark one's a bit crunchy. Mm. Good little bit of Mexican hit, a bit of spice. None for you, Roxy, you'll shit the bed. Mm. Here comes the wind. <laughs> awesome. Alright. Let's crack one of these schnitzels open and see what they're like. So yeah, as low low to medium heat, you're getting a bit of bit of um, colour on your crumb. You don't have to cook too quick. Obviously, you need to cook the inside. But mm. Mm. hot. <laughs> mm. Yummo. So, simple, quick and easy, two spuds, um, they're three, four bucks a kilo, it probably cost you 60 cents for the spuds, and um, four bucks for your snitties, so I'm going to sit back and enjoy this. Mm. Just that easy. Mm. Bellissimo.